Hi guys, it's just gone 3 o'clock on Monday 30th of January. Um, we're now within the nine week period and the run up to competition. I thought I'd um, just update you on yesterday's um, waxing experience. So I um, had my first professional uh, full body wax yesterday. Um, I, I am still um, reading from what was the single most painful experience of my entire life. I have no idea how people think that that is a pleasant experience, um, because it certainly isn't, um, and it's quite restrictive. There are so many things you can't do afterwards in the aftercare and moisturising and not getting sweaty and not having hot showers is far more in-depth and um, detailed than I thought possible. But the pain, it was, it was purely the pain. The guy who did it was clearly some kind of dungeon master and sadomasochistic champion in his private life. He seemed to be relishing in my screams. I'm going to think what the passers-by of St Ives thought yesterday um, when they were walking past hearing me scream at the top of my voice. Um, I have to be honest, so two points um, during the process, a couple of tears were shed. Um, but it was excruciating. I have never, ever experienced a pain like it. The one thing I will say to people, particularly first time competitor, or guys who are thinking of competing for the first time, don't leave your wax until the last minute. Um, it does make your skin go quite blotchy and it does cause a few breakouts um, across your body. So you need to be fully prepared for it. Apparently that does reduce the more you do it. Um, but if you've never had a wax before and you're only eight, nine, ten weeks out from competition, I, I suggest you get in there now because um, A, the pain will take a couple of days to, um, to erode. You won't be able to train on the same day that you have your wax and you do have to make sure that you follow the skin aftercare advice um, and also the preparatory advice as well. I have now tried beating, shaving and waxing. Shaving um, may work for some, it doesn't work for me. Um, I can't ever get close enough. I've got quite a few scars on my uh, body from uh, when I was younger, so um, shaving's not really an option for me. Beating was quite good, um, was pretty effective. There's obviously no pain involved in beating, but I've heard some horror stories uh, around beat, but it does work okay with me. And waxing, whilst um, is if really effective, the pain, uh, unless you've got an enormous uh, pain threshold, I, I certainly would re recommend it. Ladies, my respect to you um, was always enormous, but now it's um, stratospheric. The fact that you're able to put yourself through those regular beauty routines um, and not really flinch is, is beyond me. I've always thought that women have a much higher tolerance for pain than men. Um, yesterday's experience has proved that beyond any reasonable doubt. Um, whether I have another wax, um, I'm going to wait and see how long this lasts and what the after effects are. I'm loving the um, um, added definition that it uh, shows in your body. It certainly does increase the look of your muscularity. Um, and obviously I'm reducing fat as well, so um, each day a, a little bit more definition reveals itself. But the not having any hair um, does make that even more appealing, which is, which is fantastic. I had a, um, a full body wax, so I'm now, apart from my face, I'm completely hairless um, everywhere which is a very weird sensation, I have to be honest. Sleeping in sheets, wearing clothes feels very, 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 very weird, as does powering a self-dry when you jump out of the shower. Very weird experience. And any guy who's never been smooth before, it's weird. It's really weird. Um, the other thing that um, I will say that the, the it's really important, they give you this long list of aftercare uh, that you have to do to your skin. I, I've spoken to a couple of people who, who hadn't followed it previously and, and they regretted it. So it does take a bit of time and moisturising and all that kind of stuff. But um, um, I think, um, in, in my view, the pure elite competition is, um, yes, it's about training and nutrition and diet and sleep. But at the end of the day, it is a modelling contest. You have to look your best. And I think that means that um, for us guys, that means making sure that we spend as much time looking after our skin and, and preparing um, whatever images we're trying to create as much as everything else. So for me... Waxing was what I could suspect um, talk, modern day torture feels like. Um, I have to debate whether I uh, do it again or stick with the beat. Um, as I say, I'm still, the jury's out at the moment in time. Um, I would have filmed it, but um, there was no way I could focus on that, uh, not crying and uh, holding a camera at the same time, so that didn't happen. Um, but there are a couple of photographs on social media that showed before and after, and to be honest, I'm quite pleased with it. 
Um, so that's it really. Monday um, is the day after the waxing session. Just about to go and hit um, my uh, gym session, uh, which is dentist I believe today. So that's fantastic stuff. So have a great week. Um, look forward to seeing you towards the end of the week nine countdown um, as we get into the two months out. Thanks so much guys. Have a great day. Bye bye.